morning, everybody. We're just outside Kenora. I'm about to go grab a load. Head on down the road. Someone in Minnesota needs something from up here. We're gonna bring it to them. So welcome to all you new people who have just first clicked on my channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. You know the drill. I make new videos every day as I travel across Canada and the United States. I've been doing this for a while, about 13 years. You can go onto my channel, click my username down below, go check out my playlists. I have them all organized there all the way back to 2011. So go have fun, there's a lot to catch up on. I believe today we are working on vlog 3,140. So there's quite a few there. You can get a good weekend binge watch in if you want. I don't know if you can even get it all done in a weekend. Might take you longer than that, but welcome here anyways. Uh, join my friends down below in the comment section there. Let's get going. We got another gift wrap present here for Brainerd. Instead of 21 footers like I had yesterday, there's eight footers underneath there. All wrapped up. We have our paperwork. We sent it into the border to customs. So they should be working on that by the time I get to International Falls, Minnesota, which should be cleared to cross. Whew. All right. Time to drive six, six hours. Then we'll unload first thing tomorrow morning. Wonderful blind corner. For those of you who haven't watched before, uh, the road bends around like this. So this is a blind intersection for people coming this way or that way, but especially this way. And I can't see them coming, and they're coming around there. The speed limit is 90 kilometers an hour. Oh. There comes someone. And another person. Okay, it's a good thing. So, speed limit's 90 kilometers an hour. Most of these people are flying through here at about 105. That's about 60 to 65 miles an hour. There are signs back there that tell them that there's an intersection ahead so that they should be, you know, on alert. But look at these guys, like they're coming flying through here, which, which is normal. And I gotta get in here somehow with a full load. I'm sitting at 80,000 pounds, just below. Okay, here we go. Throw on your four ways and uh, hope for the best, eh? that at least it's on a downhill so you can sort of use your momentum to get going. But it's not the greatest intersection.
this truck. Could be me. But I gotta drive a truck. Gotta drive a truck so I can get back on a pontoon. There's another pontoon in the water over there. Well, that one's cool. That one's got like a. Uh, you probably can't see it on the camera. It has like a, a screened in. Like the whole thing is screened in. Still so nice and clean. The roads have been nice and dry since I've had it at large car truck spa, so it's been able to keep that shine. Oh, I love it. I know I need to get taller stacks on there, right? What's with those little itty bitty stacks? I know they cost money and I'm using money for a few other things right now, and those stacks are working just fine, so. They're gonna stay on there for a bit. There's a whole bunch of things I gotta do to this thing. Number one priority is just to keep it running and uh, safety compliant, right? So let's focus on that. There's my load right behind me there. I am in line here with a whole bunch of other trucks that uh, are also waiting for the gate to open in the morning. I don't know why that guy's parked backwards. Why is that guy backed in backwards? How are you gonna get in the gate, bud? Does he have a load on? He does. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna turn around and get back in the gate? There's no room to do that. Well, that's his problem, not mine. How did you even get turned around there? <laughs> not my problem. Not my problem. There's another truck waiting over here. So there's one, two, three in front of me. One just arrived to go behind me. Another guy right over here, so I won't be unloaded first, first thing crack of dawn, but they usually move pretty quick. Another guy that just parked back there now as well. So that that is it for today. We're here in Brainerd and we're waiting for the sun to rise and for the receivers to wake up and come to work so that we can start working. I've done all I can do for today, so thanks for hanging out with me. It was a fun trip. 
back and forth between Kenora and Brainerd twice so far this week. Maybe we'll do another one, maybe we'll do another two, I don't know. I, I don't know what my reload will be tomorrow yet, they haven't told me. I will find that out tomorrow morning. So they open the gate at 6.30, I believe they open the doors at 7. So there's two guys that will get loaded, unloaded before me, they'll probably take, oh, let's say an hour, hour and a half to get those two, oh, about an hour to get those two unloaded if they know what they're doing. Hopefully these guys are quick. And, I mean, the receivers know what they're doing. I'm talking about these drivers here. Hopefully they're quick rolling up their tarps and taking their equipment off their loads. Some people like to drag their feet and work really, really slow. They got like a slow work ethic. But hopefully these guys in front of me got a good work ethic and can move a little quickly. It, it will be morning time, so we'll see what happens. So if they get in the doors at 7, I should be in there by like 8.30. I should be out of here by like 9, between 9 and 9.30. And then, uh, we'll see where we go from there. Don't worry about it tomorrow. That's a tomorrow problem. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below, especially if you're new. If this is the first video you've ever watched of mine, leave me a comment down below. Say hello. Welcome here. Don't forget to go to my channel. I have 3,000. 140 videos in this series right now, so there's a little bit of catch up to do. Should keep you busy for a bit. See you tomorrow.